Happy June 1st, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy got the cold shoulder from some more swamp beetles. We did, however, uncover some mystical runes exposed by what appears to be a rather severe drought as we approach the town of Mudbrook. The calendar told us we gained valuable insights into the runes' magic, and we gain a plus two on our next d20 roll. These are supposed to remind me that I have a plus two. Um, and that is where we left things. So let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. As you approach the gate to Mudbrook, a formidable bear guard halts you. Hold on there, stranger. We're bone dry and not welcoming any beggars or refugees. You'll need to prove you aren't looking for a handout. We have some choices here. We can just flat out pay the guard. <laughs> this is a shakedown. <laughs> uh, pay the guard, eight Amber, or we can convince the guard. Um, charisma check and persuasion. We can threaten the guard. It's a strength check. Reminder, intimidating. Um, the, the calendar game interprets intimidation as a, as a, in the worst sense, when we'd be threatening with violence. Um, and so non-virtuous, whereas persuasion, I guess, is fine. And then, uh, or we can just try to sneak past. Dexterity, um, reminder, stealthy. We are, strength is Ivy's strength, and she is, uh, I thought she has, yeah, she has intimidation. But she takes a hit because she's virtuous. So that's kind of a... Oh, look. I just noticed there's a bird guard up here. Up here in the top right. That's excellent. We're not alone. Yeah, Ivy's not alone. Okay, let's try persuasion. Maybe we can persuade our fellow bird. Our fellow bird person. I don't... Oh, I was going to say I don't see any hidden icons. But I do, in fact. Um... While we're trying to figure out how to deal with this bear, Disco meanders away and comes back with... I'll have to find the rules. We haven't done this one in a while. This is the pickpocket icon. Uh, speaking of being virtuous or not, <laughs> let's see. We are going to roll a d4 and uh, 2. Disco comes back with two amber. We don't know where he got it, so what are you going to do? We just keep it. So that takes us up to 11, uh, which will help pay this fee if we want to. But let's try the persuasion route see how it goes. So we've got, let's see, convince the guard to let you pass. Roll d20 plus charisma. And we are not persuasive. Uh, do we have anybody... We do have the Baron who might be a... Oh, 18. Oh, we're, we nailed it. That's a 20. Um, we get a plus 2 on our first D20 roll. We don't get to choose when to use it. <laughs> and that's gone. So uh, we actually come away with a 22 on here. We're very persuasive. If the result is 17 or more, your words resonate with the Bear Guard. You have a sincere look about you, he says, nodding slowly. All right, go on in, but remember, cause no trouble. As you pass, a crow merchant observing the interaction is impressed with your persuasive skills. Write down silver tongue for future use. That's nice. Um, I'm going to write that here. Silver tongue. And we get to keep our amber. Excellent. Okay. Um, we are in town. It is, uh, so this is Saturday and Sunday, so maybe we'll go find the local Sunday lottery office. We'll do that as well. And I think we roll a D6. There we go. We'll roll a D6 and see what happens. What did we get? Four. We gain two more amber. Excellent. All right, that takes us to 13 Amber. That's the first time we've won in a while. So that's great. Okay, that 
my friends, is June 1st and 2nd. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit I Need Friends again tomorrow. I have, or actually, on Monday. So I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.